Happy first day of April, everyone. Now this, as we all know, is called April Fool's Day. And because there's a Bible verse that talks about how the fool has said in his heart, there is no God, it just kind of resonates with negativity and some like sadness. And there's plenty of other time and opportunities for jokes and fun and humor. So anyway, instead, I wanted to commemorate this day by sharing what is way long overdue. You guys have been waiting forever. I am so sorry, but I want to share our love story of how Donovan and I met and just that story time that I've been meaning to give to you guys that I promised forever. Um, today marks we have been married for 11 wonderful months. All right, let's start at the very beginning, shall we? So I've been on TikTok four official times and it wasn't until probably the second time around that Donovan has like shared with me that that's when he like found me on the For You page or something. And he shared with me like how I stood out to him. I was different. He, he admired how I was so strong, even with all the insane and like constant hate. And he just loved like how I was different, I guess, from a lot of women, I think, which, you know, I'm like, gosh, I'm so honored and flattered and everything. And I know a lot of people were like, Hannah, this guy is so creepy, like all the edits, because he did make a lot of edits um, for me on his pages, which his goal was to get all the haters to leave me alone and go over to his page. And I didn't realize it back when, like, I mean, I, I guess I kind of knew he was a fan, but like, I didn't realize how much like he was a fan and he really liked me. So I remember it was the third time that I had to leave, long story short about that, like why I left and everything. Uh, we actually went over to Instagram and that's where we started messaging and he was like letting me know what was happening while I was away and just like trying to like make sure I was safe and okay and everything because of all the like threats and a lot of things that I was dealing with. And uh, so anyway, long story short, we were like connecting and talking and we got into like really deep theological discussions and conversations and I thoroughly like, that was one of the things that attracted me to Donovan, my husband now, is his an intellectualism. So anyway, we were talking for a while in there and then we went over to Facebook. I asked him to be friends over there and then we were like, he was like, obviously we're checking each other out on our Facebook accounts. And then from there I went to texting and then to FaceTiming. So he moved me down here from Colorado um, a little over a year ago. I actually moved in with him right away. We had our separate bedrooms even then. But, and I know we did this, I did this backwards. I told him it was a great time to ask me to be his girlfriend, when to propose to me. And we did get married right away. We were actually boyfriend and girlfriend before we ever met. We did it backwards, but here we are. We are happy, very much in love, and I'm just so blessed. <laughs> 